It hasn't even been a full year since he was drafted in the second round by the Seattle Mariners, and already he has catapulted himself into double-A ball. Joining me from Montgomery, Alabama, former North Eugene and Oregon State standout, plus always a good friend of the show, Andrew Moore. Andrew, thank you so much for taking time out of your hectic schedule to talk to us. You got the call up to double-A Jackson just last week. How did you first hear about the news that you were going to be moving up? Uh, it was actually, uh, it was right after our game back in Lake Elsinore, California. Uh, we had just got done. Uh, I was going to turn in my charts to the pitching coach, and then he was like, oh, no, stay in here. Uh, and the manager asked, he said, if you were starting tonight against this team, what would you have done? Uh, and I said, you know, fastballs inside, they can't really get to those, and then elevate late or expand down. And he was like, yeah, that's, that's a good idea. And he was like, do you think you can do that at double-A? And I was, that's, that's kind of when I knew where the conversation was going. Uh, so that was pretty cool. And uh, Jamie Moyer was actually in town since he's from San Diego. He was there watching and uh, just giving us some uh, some knowledge. So that was cool to have him there for that moment. And really a quick turnaround because you made your first star right when you joined the team on Wednesday. How would you evaluate your double-A debut? Yeah, that was uh, still getting to know all the guys and um, had never thrown to Steve Barron, who was the one who caught me. Uh, so it took a little time getting used to him and him getting used to what pitches I throw and in what counts. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't exactly how I was hoping it would go, but uh, was able to limit the damage and gave our team a chance to win. But um, just threw a ton of pitches. That's why I only went three innings. Uh, they wanted to look out for me and just get me ready for the next one. But I was happy with my bullpen session that I threw last night and uh, getting ready to go again on Tuesday night. So... Uh, looking forward to a better outcome. Now, when I was at Beaver's practice just last week, I heard a story that your mom accidentally spilled the beans about you getting called up. What what happened there? Oh, I think, uh, yeah, because she was obviously the first person I told. Um, and yeah, I guess she shared the news on Facebook before anyone else had reported it, which, you know, I don't know what the, what the general rules are on that, app, but... You know, I'd, I'm fine with it where I'd rather people hear it from her than anyone else. But yeah, I'm not sure how that's supposed to go. But uh, yeah, nothing nothing came of it. It wasn't a big deal. So, I mean, that's totally understandable. She's just excited for you. Now, there are a lot of tales of how fun yet demanding life in the minor leagues can really be. What are some of the biggest differences between your life now and playing college ball? Uh, you know, I mean, it's all all kind of pretty difficult where, you know, you're going to an opposing park, you're not sleeping in your own bed. Um, but it's just kind of, with pro ball, it's a little more difficult just because here a lot of times, you know, you're arriving at the city that you're playing in at, you know, 2, 3 a.m. and you have a start that night and, you know, 13 or 14 hours, so you gotta get your sleep and then uh, go through your routine to get ready. So it makes it a little bit tougher. And, you know, just the fact that you're playing every day kind of wears on you a little bit. And how would you make sure that you don't get mentally worn down from that routine? Yeah, I mean, that's that's something I'm still <laughs> trying to get used to being, you know, my first full season of pro ball. But, uh, you know, you just can't really anytime, you know, those thoughts start to come in your head, you got to kick them right back out and, uh, you know, not try and come up with excuses or anything. But yeah, I mean, it's it's fun, though. You get to see, you know, different cities and every ballpark is unique and, uh, you know, it makes for a pretty cool opportunity that, uh, you know, not a whole lot of people get. So you just got to be grateful and make the most of the situation. You also had your first opportunity to participate in Mariners spring training. What was that experience down in Peoria like for you? Yeah, that was, it was great. It was, uh, you know, I'd heard from a lot of people spring training stuff and, you know, it's a grind, but uh, yeah, they had obviously with the new management this year, they handled it a little bit differently where, uh, you know, we weren't, on the field as long as they have been in years past, but we were definitely working just as hard, if not harder. Obviously getting the opportunity to throw in the big league game, uh, you know, with Cano and Seager and Cruz and all those guys behind me in the field was uh, an experience I'll never forget. Andrew, always appreciate it. Best of luck to you in AA and hope to eventually see you closer to home in Tacoma and then hopefully in Safeco in the near future. <laughs> definitely. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate it and have a good one. Talk to you soon.